Hello guys, welcome in this tutorial. We will know how to create a complex facade in SketchUp and here I have rendered this and generated using video AI. Okay, so first you have to draw a rectangle like that and then you have to press A to create an arc line like that and then paste a uh, huge push pull tool. Now here I am just creating a little bit complex one. Okay, again I am just creating arc corners over here and at this point also. Okay. So the building is like that. Okay, so I want to create a, some interesting facade over this building. Okay, so here I have select this press control to copy it. Then I have make it in a group. Now here we have to go on edit mode and click over paste in place. So your copy uh, element will be paste at the same point that you have copied. Now here need to move a little bit and use uh, Fredo tool on surface. So here I have selected arc options tool on surface uh, plugin and click over here and click at the midpoint and drag to create a arc line like that on a, a curved surface so same thing i am doing from this side and here at the midpoint to make a smooth curve line not delete extra uh, lines just like that use eraser tool by pressing e so here i am deleting one by one just like that because we don't need this bottom one i we need only upper portion of this a screen for a complex facade okay here you also need to delete extra faces like that just delete extra face and lines so here we have four connected edges first the bottom one so we have to select with control one by one just like that all arches that is not connected then right click uh and then go to convert to option this is bg convert to option that is a uh, uh, part of bg toolbar so select this option and use one fit as a polyline divider okay now done same thing you have to do with a uh, upper portion of arc line select all using control key one by one just like that and right click again go to bg convert and select polyline divider okay here again one fit distance now it's done same thing you have to do with this line straight line so i am repeating this previous process now it's done again you have to do with this a straight line too okay now here we will use extrude tool this part is done now we need to use extrude tool that is free so here we need to draw our rectangle so just draw rectangle this is six of six by six inch rectangle okay now select the rectangle now select the rectangle click here now click over first line then curve line then parallel line and then finally at this straight line now here we have to select the profile option then click ok so your rectangle that you have drawn here perfectly extruded along this curve line and here you can see that this is done within a minute it's a very interesting plugin that you must have if you don't have it uh, you can download through the link in the description okay so this is the one part that i have demonstrating here now another one is select second option and select lines one by one and go to uh, profile and rail options or a 3d options it will create different kind of facade okay so here you can also create a lattice that you have selected on a facade so you can type the parameters and then click ok it will convert selected a uh, line in a lattice so here you can see that we have created two different kind of facade using the, this extrude tool now third one is using this second option again click one by one on four uh, lines then select a uh, diagonal at the bottom click ok now diagonal line is created so this is in a group you have to just explode it so just select this entire lines because all are in a group now explode it go outside of this group again select and explode it okay now your line is exploded don't select it so here you have to make this line to tube so just use jhs power plugin that is free 
now click here this is a line to tube option select the parameters then click ok this is the diameter option that you have to choose then click ok now your line is converted to tubes so now we need to uh, add a glass facade of uh, this shape so here i am moving this in an upward direction and again using same um, lines that i have used okay to creating this facade now here i have using paste in place option because previously i have control c to copy it now again you have to click one by one to select to create a screen okay now it's done now you can apply a glass material over here by pressing b now select the glass material and then apply over here you can change the color and opacity of this glass so guys this is the method to create such some complex models using this tool this tool is very useful guys you must have and if you really like video guys you can subscribe share and like and thanks for watching and there is a subscription option if you will subscribe there is a lots of tutorial inside it thanks for watching guys thank you